Properly lined up. Your oil level is going to be at three o'clock. The drain plug will be at six o'clock. Um, the first thing you do is get it lined up, three o'clock, six o'clock, and then you have to break your plugs loose. Which 90% of the time, just to tap with a hammer because they are under pressure. And then they have you use a half-inch drive ratchet. Break them loose. When you pull your oil, the level plug, pull it slow. Sometimes it's under pressure, it will pour oil. You'll have to feel it and you can listen for pressure. Work it out slowly. It will. You will lose a little bit of oil. Okay, there's no pressure on this one. Check your plug for any kind of soot, metals, or anything that could be stuck to it. <clears throat> First thing when doing services, we pull samples on all compartments. bottles. Just insert the hose. Squeeze like an accordion. Gives it the pressure. And just feed your tube into the oil. About halfway down. Release. about halfway just remove the tube that takes care of the suction <clears throat> remove your tube <clears throat> that'll be your sample <clears throat> okay on excavators your final drives with the sprockets they will always be the considered the rear of the machine that way you can differentiate between right and left side and then you just mark the bottom, the oil um, weight, which is 30 weight on this machine. And it would be right planetary, and then we use our equipment. And that's pulling a sample on the final drives. If you pull those samples on an excavator, you want to do a sample every 1,000 hours. You want to pull the fluids and change the fluids every 2,000. Once you're done, screw that top cap back in. It'll slow the flow down to start the drain. Screw your bottom plug out first. Then you can remove the top plug. The amount of flow you want coming out of it determines how, how much you screw that plug out. So as you can see, once you start letting the air out, the more you pull the plug, the more fluid flow you're going to get from the top plug. Like Fred said a few minutes ago, make sure you check for metal, excessive metal, especially large chunks. You'll get some, what I'd call graphite material, which is perfectly normal. Once your pan gets full, you stick the plugs back in, empty the pan, and you'll start all over again. Now that you've 
drained your final drive, replace your drain plug, make sure it's tight, and you fill through the oil level plug until you get a little bit of oil flowing out. And once you reach this level, you'll be finished filling the final drive. started running out of the, uh, <clears throat> the level plug here. Check your plug for any dirt, contaminants. Check your O-ring that's on the plug and replace your plug and you're finished draining, filling, and changing the oil in your final drives. <laughs> This is your swing drive. This machine, Komatsu 1250, has two, a front and a rear of the front next to the cab. Um, this is your dipstick to check your oil. <clears throat> Pull your dipstick. Stick your tube, same way with the finals for sampling everything. <clears throat> and pull your sample. Back to work on the PC-1250. Um, the sample's been pulled on the swing drive. Um, we're now going to drain it. This hose normally stays folded up inside the frame of the machine. You pull it out, there is a plug inside, break it loose. Once you break it, once you break it loose, screw it out. My best suggestion when you're draining these swing drives, break them loose and then move on to another part of the machine. Um, the fluid does run slow, small hose. Sometimes it can take 20 to 25 minutes for it to drain. You can always come back to it when it comes time to fill it and uh, close your plug and then work at it then because it does take an extreme amount of time to drain. Now that you've got the swing, rear swing drive uh, drained, Plug and the drain plug tighten back up, come back up on top of the machine to the swing drive where the dipstick pulls is where you fill the oil. It holds approximately six and a half gallons. So you fill through this and you keep checking your level on the um, dipstick tube. Now that you've filled your swing drive oil up, check it at your level. The level line is here. Everything's good. Now you're finished filling, draining, filling your swing drive oil. This is your engine compartment. Right here is your dipstick. Check your engine oil. Pull your dipstick. <clears throat> Run your tube into the dipstick tube to pull your sample on your engine oil. The sample tube is approximately as long as your dipstick. That way you catch the center of your oil and not pull off of the bottom of your engine and pick up any contaminants. On the 